Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. So my topic over here now, it is on tax planning strategies. Since morning, we all are listening about uh, compliances, but how this compliances will be achieved without tax planning. So they, they say that with the wise wisdom, tax planning happens. With the wise wisdom, the tax planning happens. You sow the seeds of savings today, and you will harvest the fruit tomorrow, or it will be a prosperity for future. Once, once upon a time, in a, there was a small town where a lady who was with a positive attitude and for, uh, she was very, she was very no well known. Her name was Lily. So Lily was uh, having an ability to identify the ability to identify all the opportunities which are available in every situation. She was also an owner of a small bookshop. One day, while going through all her uh, financials, she just realized that uh, now my financial year end is close by. How do I approach this? Since she was a aggressive person without any and having a different mindset, she just approached it not with the normal mindset where we usually during this financial closure end, we go on reading into multiple paperwork or stress. This often happens with us. However, she took it with a positive mind mindset, which was on empowering and a strategic planning. She did a lot of study on the tax laws, approached the tax experts. With a lot of dedication or determination, she studied or researches all the tax laws. And later, she identified that there are multiple incentives, deductions are available to her, which will help us for, which will help to groom her business. Yes, this is what the tax planning is. Tax planning, it is just a process of organizing all the processes in the system with mitigation of taxes and optimizing all the financial goal. It involves entirely, I'll say specifically, uh, it is not just that we have to be with the motive that yes, we have to pay the taxes, we owe a lot of to the government. But with this, we have to optimize all our tax payments. This is main is the basic goal of tax planning. So what does this strategic tax planning means? Any guesses? First of all, I'll say it is majorly aligning to all the financial alignment. Yes, the financial alignment or the financial goal of an organization gets achieved by tax planning. All your, uh, be it for an individual or for a business, be it for your education system or your retirement benefits, everything gets planned through this tax planning. Then comes the mitigation of tax liability. Yes, tax planning involves a lot of mitigation of taxes, but with this, it, uh, we get the benefit to an organization which involves cash flow reduction also, because uh, uh, the, the lower the tax flow, uh, cash flow, lower will be your uh, lower will be your output for the specific cash payments, and that cash, uh, which is was supposed to be used for the tax payments, will be used for some other purpose. Then comes the compliances with the tax laws. Tax planning also involves the compliances with tax laws. Yes, we have to be work with the, we have to be complied with all the taxes, and once the business or the plan is so adaptive to the, all the changes the tax compliances will be achieved. Timing of transactions. The base timing for transactions of any of the tax law comes with all planning. For example, the planning will be your deferring all your uh, payments to the vendors or uh, income reacceleration or expense accounting. 
adapted to the changes. I think we covered all earlier this. This is all the changes which comes with the tax planning. Then come the encouraging economic growth. There are a lot of incentives, subsidies, which are being given by the government. And with these uh, incentives, the, be, uh, the thought behind of, uh, introducing the such incentives by the government is to accelerate the, or to uh, boost the motive of the industry. And in turn, they uh, access the infrastructure and also the job, uh, job creation and multiple activities which work toward the social service. So this is where the economic growth happens with the tax planning. And definitely, it enhances the competitiveness. As I've earlier said that the, with the tax planning, the cost get reduced. And then it definitely helps in increasing the competitiveness. This is how the entire ta tax planning will work. And this tax planning is equivalent to tax avoidance. Tax avoidance by way of tax planning. Tax avoidance should not be confused with tax evasion. So tax avoidance, if I have to go with the intent, basically tax avoidance in involves a legal transaction where I pay less taxes, but with legal compliances, which achieving all the legal compliances. However, tax evasion is illegal. The intent behind this is misrepresenting or not disclosing all the uh, income or paying less taxes or escaping the taxes to all the uh, to evade these taxes. This is what this is the basic difference between tax avoidance and tax evasion. So the once you come to the intent and the legality of the transaction, whether it's a tax avoidance and tax uh, tax evasion, definitely uh, we have to be very mindful while working with the tax uh, uh, tax avoidance and tax evasion activity because tax evasion definitely comes with an consequences which has penal consequences which will be definitely if uh, have legal actions recu reputation uh, impact and this will be uh, i mean tax authorities will come more and uh, above this and they will be charging all the prosecutions and another uh, another uh, Pandora box, box gets open. Once we once we have a perfect tax planning, then comes the we our business tends to expand globally. This global uh, tax planning comes to internationally and definitely. Uh, and what the exactly the international planning is? International planning specifically comes with the strategic management, where the financial goals of a taxpayer has to be. To, mitimize, to minimize the uh, liabilities, optimize the businesses, business structure by ensuring proper compliances, and tax laws of all multiple jurisdictions. There are various fa factors which involves all this international tax planning. So uh, first factor uh, which involves the international tax planning comes to the global rate structuring. Global tax structuring. When we work or uh, through the specifically through for tax planning for international tax planning, every country has multiple rates. So while working with all this, we have to be very mindful for what are the global tax rates involved across the countries, and plan accordingly. Come then comes the transfer pricing. Transfer pricing plays a very important role, or it's a very crucial while uh, international planning. Then uh, because we have to prove the arm's length price, the transaction has to be very on the arm's length uh, uh, transaction and the pricing or the costing should be on the same manner. Comes the tax treaties. Government has come up with multiple double taxation treaties. So to avoid the, these treaties, we have uh, the tax planning is another role where it plays an important uh, aspect the ta so that we, will, we won't end up in multiple uh, payment of taxes. Comes tax credits and incentives. There are certain credits and incentives which has been introduced by government. So for this, we have to be mindful again for while planning the taxes. Cross-border transactions. If I come to the cross-border transactions, there are certain transactions where government, uh, uh, government or the, uh, the other la la foreign land uh, governments, they have come up with the transactions where what are the specific, uh, specific I'll say, tax laws are there. So uh, while formulating the taxes for international taxes, uh, we have to be very mindful for the 
uh, cross border transaction laws for each for uh, each country then the permanent establishment risk permanent establishment risk p e where this has to be taken uh, considered well while formulating i mean usually the company they op go and open up the subsidiaries or another uh, permanent establishment in the country that will be an help one of the ways to reduce the taxes then another aspect is on the legal entity rationalization legal entity rationalization uh, it comes when specifically uh, we have to be considered uh, there are multiple uh, entities in an organization and with the reduction of any of the country uh, entity the legal entity uh, can be reduced and a taxation can be applied so this is how the international tax plan planning works and it requires a collaboration it of multiple teams be it your tax ad advisors or finance experts or any of the uh, uh, local consultants they'll be helpful for com uh, addressing all the complexities of the global taxes with the tax planning there comes the ethical practices because every tax planning has to be addressed with all the ethical with ethical ways so there are multiple uh, core benefits first benefit is on the legal and compliance reputation once we plan the ta taxes accordingly we have to be very mindful on the compliances and once all these compliances are achieved it indirectly or directly uh, attracts to the reputation of a company another aspect for ethical practices comes on the csr benefit because the base uh, the base or the motive to attend this uh, tax planning is on uh, the csr i mean uh, i have to say corporate responsibilities are there and accordingly the have i mean the same motive or attaining for the so towards the society the ethical practices of tax planning can be achieved then comes long term stability yes organization if it is uh, stable and uh, it has to be stable with the compliances if the compliances or the tax planning is not in a particular format then definitely it will impact the stability of the organization trust and transparency planning should be so, so transparent and it should create a trust among all the stakeholders be it the employee uh, or any of the stakeholder will uh, the shareholder with the transparency they'll gain the uh, they'll gain the confidence and they'll be believe all the believe on the organization then avoidance of legal consequences we discussed this earlier that with incorrect tax planning there will be sudden legal consequences and that can lead into tax evasion sustainability and resilience yes uh, we this is also been discussed and then stimulating the economic growth with the incentives and uh, the development towards the nation once we pay the taxes definitely the economic growth is being sustained so these are the few of the examples where the tax planning can be looked into the scenarios where will one company can input tax credit organ uh, optimization can be done when the collaboration of gst compliances can be done so here for example uh, we have uh, when the collaboration we uh, upfront abc manufacturer they deal with the vendors and then uh, th before that only they deal with only complied vendors and they have a uh, contractual agreement that once they are complied then only will be dealing otherwise they won't we won't be dealing with this so that we there will be not be any gst losses optimizing gst rate structure if a pharmaceutical companies are there there are multiple uh, gst rates are there so all an entire analysis to be done on the rates of uh, any of the company and accordingly all the products will be decided and thus the optimization of the gst rate will be done effective management of exports exports to be brought under rebate or under lut can be decided based on this uh, uh, based on the tax planning effect managing interstate transaction there are multiple interstate transaction across the states be it uh, uh, igst i mean igst can be done uh, can be avoided by planning warehouses or uh, any of the production houses or branch offices in a particular state so that the credits can be under cgst and sgst and can be utilized further Ma uh, then comes on the uh, neg uh, then comes on the uh, audits if the regular audits which are being done regularly uh, internally so that the reviews can be done and the or notices can be reviewed according notice can be removed accordingly so that's all from the tax planning perspective thank you